Hello, hello. Um, this would be a different type of reading. In one of the last Idaho readings, there was like a portion of it where I was like, I feel like we were just in on like this group chat between the victims. Um, so I was thinking, why don't I try and do that, but with Brian and his team, try and see if we can create what would energetically or could energetically be a group chat based off of like, I guess what they're saying and what's going on right now. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. And this is an energy reading. It is all alleged, my opinion, not facts. Um, we're gonna kinda go back and forth, I guess. So I'm gonna start with four cards from each. Brian, female lawyer, male lawyer, um, about like, right now, as it stands, what is the approach? What is the general approach from the team? Let's start with, let's start with Brian, the moon. So this makes me feel like he's kind of taking direction. Like there may have been kind of like a, um, like a shit, sit down and shut up type of moment from Brian's team to Brian, the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So there was some kind of plan that is now changing. Um, I don't really know what has come out over the last couple of days. I've been kind of in my own little world taking care of some stuff. Um, but there, there's some, it has to be like a recent change in the plan because it came out next to the moon. So it's like, I knew kind of what to anticipate or expect and then plans switched and now I don't. Nine of Pentacles reverse. So something that Brian did not want to be part of the plan is now part of the plan. Or there's like some kind of shift where it was like, Brian would rather it not go this way. Um, this little statue thing there is making me think it has something to do with the, something about evidence that is now being talked about. Um, Ace of Cups reversed. Oh, something they thought they were going to find, but they did not find. Oh, my last reading, we talked about what they thought they were going to find in the paperwork this is about the paperwork oh this is all about the paperwork we there was something in the documents that brian was looking for that he wasn't able to find at least not yet or he's not able to figure out how to use what he did find in the way that he originally intended to use it so i don't know if that means like wording of things or if it means lack just in general of what he expected to find but this is like i didn't find quite what i was looking for this is about the paperwork i didn't find quite what i was looking for in the paperwork and now i have to change directions or change plans or something like that so then what is his male's lawyer male lawyer page of cups strength reversed Yeah, it's like I found kind of, because the Page of Cups is kind of significant that it's been Kaylee and then Strength in Reverse is like doubting yourself. So it's like from the, from Brian's perspective, it's like, oh, it's not here. What I need it is not here. What the heck? And then from his male lawyer's perspective, it's like, well, we can use this, but I'm just not sure how all the way yet. Um... Underneath of the nine of pentacles. After I get all three rows, I'll take a picture of the cards. Three of swords and the star reversed. Yeah, it's like something that they, it's like they still think that they're holding something back because the star would be the public and it's in reverse. So it's like, I, I expected to see this and it's not here. So I don't really know how you're still able to hold it back when you're supposed to give us everything. 
So now I have to figure out what is here to maneuver to figure out a way to get what I know should be here but is still missing. That's what I'm getting with that. Um, so his female lawyer then. Eight of Wands reverse. Some they're gonna. This is they're gonna try and buy time to find whatever it is that they're trying to look for. Two of Swords here. Yeah. Eight of Cups reverse. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups makes me feel like they're gonna start to look at the DNA again to try and use the DNA to buy the time that they need. Like they need time because what they thought would be in the paperwork is not in the paperwork, but now they have to figure out a way to get them to give it over without, like, if they tell them what it is that they're looking for, it's like guilty knowledge, right? So yeah, four of wands, it's like guilty knowledge. It's, it's something that could only be known if you were inside the house or something to that effect. So it's like, we can't ask, hey, where is this? Because if we ask, hey, where is this, specifically, it's showing that we know that it should be there, which shows that we have guilty knowledge, which defeats the purpose. So it's like, we have to find a way to use what is in here to flip it a little bit and try and get you to give us what, you, what we still feel like you're not giving us. That's what this looks like to me. Um, Oh, wait, my computer being so loud. Compu computer running heavy. Yeah, it's like we've been looking and looking and looking through all of this paperwork that you've given us and we're still not finding that thing that we're looking for. Um, card to confirm from Brian. Oh. My driver, my the other person. Spouse, partner, crossroad, and Democrat came out as confirmation for Brian. So what did they not find? They did not find what they were looking for that proves that there's another person at the house. I, I, and I said before that I thought they were looking into their testimony. My computer sounds like it's about to like take off into space. Hold on a second, I don't know what's going on. Like what? What the heck? Let me get a let me get a card for what what the computer was just meant to be symbolic symbolic of. Grandparent, old, old news, old news. You only gave us what you already gave us. You keep giving us the same stuff. We're not looking for that. We're looking for this, but this is keeping it on the other side of the road where we can't see it. Allegedly, my opinion. Um, all right, so then the next one was his male lawyer. So Brian's male lawyer confirmation. Same thing. It's the same. You keep giving us the same thing. Mm, okay, yeah, it's... Oh... They're looking for something that connects Brent. And they didn't find it in time. Hmm. Um, his female lawyer. Communication in reverse, you're not giving it to us. You are not giving us the piece of this that we're looking for, but we can't ask you for it directly because you're manipulating it. And you're giving us not, it's not false information, but you're not giving us all of the information. All right, I'm gonna take a picture of the cards.
Um, I did not pick out confirmations between them. So for Brian, for that last portion, affair. So a affair is when you're doing something wrong to your partner. In this case, the law would be the partner of the people who are investigating the law. So this is like Brian saying, they're doing something wrong with my case, regardless or not of guilt, there's something that's still being skipped or done wrong. Good in reverse. There's something that's still being skipped or done wrong. Secret space program. Hmm. Corruption in reverse. Missing piece. One more. Oh. Or my inner verse. Got a fair, good inner verse, secret space program, corruption, inner verse, missing peace, and marriage wedding. That's curious. Let me see a picture of them. Hmm. Um, let's see what comes out for the male lawyer. Oh, revenge. Regret. That has been Brent. And the last clarification from the male lawyer was also about Brent. Desert. Desert makes me think military, which was the similar, the, the military in reverse came out last time. Military in reverse, desert upright, desert, you're seeing something as a mirage because it's upright, it's not reverse. So it's not a reverse mirage, it's a real mirage. They expected to see something about Brent in that paperwork and they didn't, they can't, they didn't find it, but they can't ask for it. reason top secret in reverse secret society motel hotel They expected to find something in there that they did not find and they cannot ask for it because asking for it is guilty knowledge and they have to find a way to use what they did have to find a way to maneuver them into having to give them. For some reason, it feels like a phone record or something like there's I don't know, like it's something. Um, Logistical? Something logistical clarification. Oh. A blackmail in reverse, money in reverse, one more. Ritual in reverse. Oh. Something that we don't normally do that blackmail in reverse. It's not that we're blackmailed, it's that we're paid because money is in reverse. So dirty money. Allegedly, my opinion. Um, all right, let's go on to the female lawyer. Three cards to clarify. Okay, law enforcement. Strangulation in reverse. Strangulation in reverse. I'm not strangling you. You need to breathe. You need to tell me. You need to speak about what? Oh. Couple in reverse. 
feeling called to see what's behind couple in reverse, but I'm a little nervous to see what's behind couple in reverse. <clears throat> Picking. <clears throat> hmm. All right, I'm gonna take a picture of the cards. All right, so. We're going to wrap this up with if each of the four victims could give us four cards about what we talked about to make it make more sense, what would it be? Um, we're going to start with Kaylee. Six of Swords. That, to me, looks like not the Six of Swords in the Tarot deck, but the Six of Swords in the, the Black deck that I used that had the boat that was similar to this it was going down a tunnel and early early in the beginning it was used to represent the driver death is the other card to me that's kaylee confirming th about the driver um or like the what we talked about was them not being able to find what they were looking for and i believe they were that's kaylee confirming they're looking for something about a second person the fool and five of wands yeah look at that it's like a group fight and then somebody else running in i'm wondering if they're trying to prove that somebody was there after but if somebody was there after and they can prove somebody was there after then it makes whatever evidence tainted it's it, it feels like there's like a different perspective that they're taking on something that they already tried to do i don't know what that translates to but that's what i'm getting it's like a pivot of perspective of an angle that they already tried to take on something Maddie, the Hermit reversed, that came out for under Six of Swords, so that to me is not, I'm not alone, it's not just me. Nine of Swords and the Tower, so the Nine of Swords is underneath of Death, so somebody being really worried um and then the tower is underneath the fool so it's like this piece of the puzzle would be catastrophic to the way that the prosecution is currently aligning their case um it's that information that once it's out you can't go back and they just won't give it ten of swords and three of cups and five of swords Soldier, dead body, three people. It's the information that once it comes out, it, it, it changes the whole, it's almost like hitting restart. And like, if you want to then prosecute Brian, you have to go back to the beginning and redo the entire narrative to get it to fit because there's a piece of evidence that once it's out, it can't be ignored. And once it's out and can't be ignored, you can't possibly believe the story in the way that it's been presented. Allegedly, my opinion. Clarification from Kaylee. Once it comes out, you can't possibly go back to the way it was before. It's like going through a portal. One more from Kaylee to confirm from behind. War in reverse, it changes the entire strategy of their approach for dealing with him. Um, from Maddie. One more behind this one, Colt. 
Mm-hmm. Man-made disaster. Okay. <clears throat> um... Um, a long time ago, I said about a purposeful conflict of interest um, to be used at the right time. And I thought it was about counsel, but I'm wondering if it's not about counsel and it's more just about certain things lining up to make way for certain other things to happen. Uh... Because this to me is like, I'm purposely making decisions that I know are going to mess up this case. Like, even if I'm on the side of prosecuting Brian, and even if I believe Brian's guilty, I'm still making decisions that are going to mess up the case. And I know it. Like, it's allegedly my opinion. Uh, let me take a picture of these cards. And Xana. Six of Wands reverse, so something not being made public. Four of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. That's someone getting money, someone giving money. Someone handing you money that you might not have even wanted. Blackmail in reverse. But. It doesn't have to be literal money. It could be something owed. Seven of Cups. You have all of these different options, all of these different pieces, right? But somebody wants to make sure that certain pieces don't connect. And that's where this part comes from. Um, Ethan? I feel like this one's about to be really interesting for some reason. Page of Swords reversed. The Ace of Pentacles reversed. Oh. Because if information did come out, certain people would lose their deals. There would be certain offers taken back for things that people said that would be, by this evidence that I'm talking about, disproven. So we'd have to take back the offer. Allegedly, my opinion. The Chariot and the Seven of Wands, look at that. Two people, vehicle, and a dog. To me, it looks like the defense believes that there is a person being purposely protected and kept out of paperwork. They can't straight up ask for that because asking for that would be guilty knowledge, but they have to use what they do have to try and get that evidence produced. I do believe that once that evidence were to come out, there'd be certain deals that are on the table that would no longer be on the table because the information behind those deals would be disproven. Allegedly, my opinion. Clarification from... Zana. Distraction in reverse. It's not a distraction. It's a real thing. One behind it. Water. Drowning. There's, there's like, a, like a dam breaking. Um, like if this one thing comes out, there's going to be no way that anyone will focus on anything else. Like it, it's like a, once it's out, it's the center of attention. Um, and like a dam bursting open, you can stand there with a bucket, but you're not going to catch all that water. Ethan? Oh, wow. I know I have to look at the one behind it. Um,
people are already talking. People are already talking about the evidence that I'm talking about. It has to be about other people being at the house. Is there something about to come out about other people being at the house that's going to cause a problem? No. So it's going to be continued to be covered up or at least attempted to at this point. Okay. Jealousy in reverse was behind it. Huh. Let me take a picture of these. All right, we're going to wrap it up with one of these from each of the four victims. Um, Brian's energy right now in regards to what we just talked about. Um, let me start with Kaylee. Let's start with Kaylee again. Oh, Danu, mother of creation. Motherhood, ferocity, and creation. Who is getting that person protected? The mother of creation. The link. And we created the plan. Maddie. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, she is direct. The Traveler, the Queen of Shadows, and the Overlord of the Abyss. The Traveler, Restlessness, Independence, and Appraisal, Keeper of the Crossroads. We had the Crossroads card come out. Was that for Maddie? I don't remember. Queen of Shadows, Wrath, Instability, and Suspicion. And Overlord of the Abyss, Pestilence, Corruption, and Malice. So we had the link from Kaylee. Now we have the link connects to Brian with Maddie. Oh, I said this reading was going to be like that reading where it was like the conversation and they're ending it like that. They're all about to confirm one another's messages. Zana. I won't cry for you and it's 22 on the card. And this is the card that has represented Dylan. And we're talking about evidence of a second person being at the house that once it comes out cannot be disputed. And that looks like Dylan. Let's just put that out there. <clears throat> I feel like Xana would like to give one more card. Um, For some reason, I'm feeling like because this one didn't have as many words on it as the other cards, she wants to do one more card. I don't know if that's going to make sense in a second, but that's. We got two. Arthur in reverse, like author, but it was in reverse. The champion of Avalon, companionship, nobility, and self-realization. Oh, she gave us Bethany and Dylan. 
oh okay um <clears throat> so thought this was just gonna be like a little wrap it up message this um this is this is Kaylee saying about the link okay so this was like the, the the foundation to start from is the link then Maddie added on to the message and said we're going to connect the link and Brian connect the bridge between the two um So Kaylee said, here's, we're going to talk about one person. Maddie said two people. Then Xana said one, but we we're waiting for the second. So that was the two. So this to me is Bethany or Dylan and Bethany. Why I say that is because if you see this blood droplet there, that's a necklace that she's wearing. She's holding the same one. 22, two. The temple of my body. And I said about Xana saying there wasn't enough words on the other one. There wasn't enough words. She only gave us one of the other roommates. Just wait for the rest of the words. Arthur, author, writing the story, sword, companionship, a second person, championship of Avalon, but it was in reverse. So championship, it, it's not, we did not get the news about the second person yet because who is keeping it from coming out? The temple of my body, I won't cry for you. We're not doing the right thing by giving the information. We're not letting it out of the temple. Allegedly, my opinion. And sitting on the desk was Harthor, Mistress of Harmony, Mediation, Communication, and Culture. I don't know when it came out, but it was sitting right up on the desk. And to me, this is the confirmation of that message that represents this, the link. So that means that part of the message is closed out. And now whatever we're about to get from Ethan is like, going to make everything else like that was the background of whatever we're information we're about to get and now is the information that this was all like leading to so oh because ethan had the justice in reverse card so we should have already known that okay um all right so ethan i'm gonna do two cards from ethan Lady of Masks, The Shaper, Reclamation, Vanity, and Surface Appearances, and it's a woman who's holding a mask off to the side. There's the third example of the link. And Anubis, Arbiter of Truth, which goes hand in hand with the Arthur card to me, because Arbiter of Truth, Arthur, writing author. Preser and this was in reverse. Preservation, neutrality, and obligation. So not staying neutral, not preserving the case, and not following your obligatory duties. To do what? Justice in reverse. And then, oh wow. So there's two other ones sitting here. The one is blinded to pain, but it's in reverse. To me, that's Ethan saying they know darn well exactly what they're doing. Because the other card is the Morrigan Weaver of Fate. Antipathy, introspection, and opposition. That 
to me is they know exactly what they're doing and they're doing it purposely. And they're doing it quite unapologetically to keep that little blood diamond in the temple. Wrap it up, Kaylee. Dating. Just one card from each, dating. Dating, government. Let's see what's behind it because that's obviously a three card pool. So dating, government, road in reverse. The government is dating the end of the road. The government is dating lack of progress. The government likes lack of progress on what we've been talking about. And what we've been talking about is a second person being involved. Propaganda, fake news. All right, Kaylee, or no, that was Kaylee, Maddie. Corruption in reverse. One card behind it. What's the exposing of corruption has something to do with a missing piece. All right, one more. Marriage wedding. Missing corrupt the exposing corruption is the missing piece that pairs everything together with. Oh, a secret space program. Okay. All right. Um, uh, that obviously is making me think of the mind stuff that we talked about in my other readings. We're not going to go into that right now. This. Um, okay. Uh, Xana. Dismemberment in reverse. So all of the pieces coming back together in reference to, oh, the devil. If all of the pieces were to come together, you would see the, p the clear picture of evil that it presents, correct? And it would scare you. Because why? Because there's a separation of what and what. Good space. Good space. There's not enough space for the good. They're trying to crowd the space with evil so that you can't see the pieces that don't make sense. Vote in reverse, that's my confirmation card. Okay, um, that was, was that Xana? Yeah, that was Xana, I think. Ethan, was that Xana? Haley Manny, did I do Xana yet? I don't think I did Xana. Let's do Xana. If I did Xana twice, then I did it twice. I don't know. Female in reverse. I guess I didn't do Xana yet. Accident in reverse. Oh, this is happening on purpose. Uh, even if I did do Xana already, this is happening on purpose. So either I did do Xana already and I'm doing it again and it's happening on purpose or I didn't do it yet, but the fact that I said all this already is happening on purpose and this is gonna be why. Timeline issue. What about the timeline issue? Alive in reverse. The prosecution is doing something that's going, they're putting something in place that's gonna put an end to the timeline issue. Underwater. 
something is about to come out that's going to make the timeline look more solid against Brian. Allegedly, in my opinion. Um, Ethan. Outer space. Faked death in reverse. Power supply in reverse. Brent. One more. One more. All right, last one. Last one. Confir um, I'm not going to like talk about what those just were, but is there a confirmation that we can get from Ethan if those cards were referring to Brent? Greed and gift. All right, that's all for now. Um, yep, that's all for now. I'll talk to you soon.